have a session on inflation. So inflation is a sustained rise in prices within an economy. And it's measured by the CPI, the Consumer Price Index, which is a weighted index that contains the 720 most representative goods and services that are purchased by consumers. Now, in this video, I want to look at the impact of increasing or high inflation on the functional areas within a business. We'll start with finance. So within the finance department, the finance being the functional area, increasing high inflation might lead to the real, real means adjusted for inflation, real value of debt being eroded. So if you have some sort of debt, you are geared in a certain way, then the value of that debt will be eroded because the fact that inflation prices are increasing. You can buy less with that money, essentially. So we think about it in terms of a 10-year loan a business might have taken out, and that 10-year loan will have fixed repayments, the same repayment each month. Now, if inflation is increasing, prices are increasing, well, that fixed amount that you've agreed with the bank, for instance, well, it's worth less. It has less of a real value. So therefore, the real value of your debt has eroded. Now also with the finance department is that your assets might appreciate, go up in value. They appreciate in value and those assets might be property or stocks. And if you get a combination of points one and points two, well, that might make your statement of financial position, your balance sheet, much more secure. So potentially a benefit of increasing inflation. Now, the next thing is looking at the operations department, where we're probably seeing more negative impacts. So within the operations department, well, if you've got prices going up in the economy, you've got inflation, well, then it's likely the costs of those raw materials or those components, those supplies that you buy, they're going to increase. And if they increase, your suppliers, if you have suppliers, well, they're likely to increase their prices. And if they increase their prices, then you have a decision to make. Your decision is going to be, do you leave your prices unchanged? If you leave your prices unchanged, that's going to mean your profit margins will reduce. Or you decide as a business that you're going to pass the inflationary pressures from the supplier on to your consumers, so you might increase your prices. And if you increase your prices, according to the law of demand, the quantity demanded for your products will fall. But they might have a positive impact in the marketing department because it may lead to higher revenues. The reason why it may lead to higher revenues would be under the situation that you have an inelastic price elastic demand. So if your PED is inelastic, well, the increase in price, yes, it leads to lower quantity demanded, but it might lead to higher overall revenues. Details and elasticity kick the card up there. Now, there is a negative situation that you don't have such insensitive or inelastic price elastic demand and in fact you have very sensitive consumers and you have elastic PD and if that case well sad face your revenues are going to uh, likely decline. Now the next point is that consumers if, they, if, if they're faced by inflation they're likely to have lower real incomes their incomes adjusted for inflation real means adjusted for inflation will be lower and that might mean that they will brand down and that could be particularly poignant if you are a premium provider within a market is that they, consumers may brand down away from you additionally if inflation is higher in the uk versus the rest of the world, higher in the UK versus the rest of the world, it might mean that the products would be less internationally competitive, and that could be a problem particularly for an exporting business. Now, the final functional area is HRM, Human Resources Management. Um, impacts likely here from high or increasing inflation. Well, workers' real wage, adjusted for inflation, their workers' real wage may fall. It falls so therefore, workers may think, oh, I want a pay rise. They ask for higher wages, and if they ask for higher wages and they are successful within that, it's going to increase the cost of production for the business. So it might create this loop here where you might need to, as a business, consider whether you're going to have to increase your prices and consider your elasticities. But it might not be as simple as that, because it might be the business is resistant to giving those higher wages to those workers because they feel burdened that their standard of living is lower because of the impact of inflation. So it might mean they bring in trade unions, the workers use collective bargaining, bring in trade unions or perhaps work councils, effectively industrial action to try and get those higher wages. Now, if that becomes particularly resistant and they fail initially to do that, 
or even overall fail to do that, it might lead to negative industrial relations, which is not going to be positive for the business. Now, I hope that helps on inflation, and I'll see you at the next sesh.